There are actually several different possibilities as to how this final clause, the one that I just read you, is translated. One, for the purpose of an acquisition of glory to Jesus Christ. For the purpose of an acquisition of glory to Jesus Christ. This seems to indicate that the gospel, that yes, the gospel was given in order for Jesus to accumulate glory. It is true that Jesus indicates that he is glorified in his disciples in John 17, 10, but this doesn't appear to be Paul's intent as he writes. The second option, for a glorious possession of Jesus Christ. This would show that the intent of our salvation and sanctification is so that we would become subjects of Christ in his kingdom. Now, it is true that this will occur. Christ is our head and we are his people. But once again, this doesn't seem to be what Paul is thinking of. Third option, to be possessors or sharers in the glory of Jesus Christ. This appears to be what is on Paul's mind. I say that without going on any further right now is that he says it elsewhere, that we are brought into the kingdom of God to be to share in the glory of Christ. And Jesus says it himself. Um, he relates this idea to the saints at several times in several distinct ways. For example, in Romans 8, 17, he says that we will be heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Paul is an apostle who is, at this time, telling his readers what lies ahead for them because of the process that they have gone through and continue through. I would go with the third option, but the other two are possible translations of those words. So just so you know, but I would say uh, based on Paul's other writings and even Jesus, uh, what he has said, uh, especially in the Gospel of John, to be possessors or sharers in the glory of Jesus Christ. All right. So we will possess the glory of Jesus Christ in our nature. That's what being glorified is. And um, John in his epistle says, uh, when we see him, we will be like him. Exactly. So uh, and in our being glorified, God is glorified. So I would agree with that, but you have all the options, at least of the translations that I've read. Those are the three uh, main translations of those final words. Like that. Thank you.